adding a lot of taxonomy terms in Drupal can be kind of a drag. Or is it? Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, I'd like to share with you a module that allows you to import massive amounts of taxonomy terms in a heartbeat. It's called Taxonomy Manager. I'm over here at the Taxonomy Manager page, drupal.org slash project slash taxonomy underscore manager. I have found that although this module does a lot of the things it says here, it doesn't do all of these things in Drupal 10. This is a Google Summer of Code project from way back in 2007. Not all of these capabilities have been moved over to Drupal 10. But honestly, for me, I don't care. It does one thing, and it does it really well, import and export massive volumes of vocabulary terms. Let's take a look. I've installed it here on a generic site that we use for training. And this is under Structure and Taxonomy Manager. I'm going to add a new vocabulary called US States. That's a pretty normal one where you need to quickly get a whole bunch of US states in. So let's go ahead and do that. And then this takes me actually back to taxonomy. I need to go back to structure and taxonomy manager again, click on US states, and now I can paste all of the states right in there. As well, depending on the taxonomy I'm building, I can even add child elements as well, just by putting dashes in front of the terms that are subterms. I happen to have a list of US states right here. Let me copy that, paste that in, and it's going to ask me to create a term in order provided in the list. Yes, please. Click Add, and boom, I have 50 new terms in my US states. Can you imagine how long that would have taken to build by hand? Now, yes, it does mean that you're going to have to have some source of a document here, whether that's a CSV file or just a text file with dashes and things for child elements. But that's still so much faster. Now, if I head back over to Structure and Taxonomy, where I would normally be, and click List Terms, of course, I'm back to where I normally was. So this is pretty amazing. The other thing it can do, of course, is export everything. So I can export them all into a list that I can copy and paste, of course. And it would give me the dashes for child elements as well. I can manually add more. I can even click. It will let me edit the actual term right here in this window. Now, what's really cool is if I click on Taxonomy Manager again, click on Landmark, and click on Big Ben. This is from our class. Even all the additional fields show up right here, which is, again, really nice. Wow. That's a huge time saver. Because if you're like me building long lists of taxonomy terms, now it's just copy and paste. That's pretty cool. Thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Would you like, would you subscribe? And hey, if you've got any ideas or things you'd like me to do on an OS tip at any point, put it in the comments below. We'll see what we can do.